Today I'll show you how to create a flexible, reusable button component in React with TypeScript. We'll see how this component works as a button or anchor element, how to customize it with props, and how its design keeps your code dry and consistent. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about why having a single button component is so important. It reduces repetitive code by centralizing all button logic in one place, styling stays consistent across your whole application, no matter where we use it, it's customizable, we can change variants, sizes or functionality just by updating single prop. So here is my code snippet I use across many of my projects. Let's walk through. We have two main objects, button variants and button sizes. These are the main objects you should focus on. Adjust their styles as needed to match the button variants defined in your design kit. Button variants, the object associated with button variants, like primary, secondary, outline and link, each with their corresponding Tailwind CSS styles. These objects control the button's color, background, hover and focus states. Button sizes, the object associated with button's dimensions and spacing. The styles of this object defines button's padding, font size, border radius, width or height and everything related to dimensions. This component is built for TypeScript safety and clarity. The common props interface is shared by both button and anchor elements. It includes a variant prop to control the button style variant, a size prop to specify the button size, a classes prop for any additional custom classes, and a children prop for rendering any content inside the button. Next we have button props. These props are used when rendering a standard button element. They inherit all of React's native button attributes, except for class name. Anchor props are used when rendering the component as an anchor element. They inherit all of React's native anchor attributes and require an href for navigation. There is also an optional is external prop, which can be used to open the link in a new tab, if needed. The key power of this component is its polymorphism. If we pass element prop as anchor, it will enforce us to pass href prop as well. Inside every button or anchor, we have a content wrapper component, which adds an inline block span around the children. This component helps us to remove duplicate codes and enables us to apply underline on hover styles for link variants. The class name variable is an important part of this code. It combines the base classes, size specific classes from button size, variant specific classes from button variants, and any additional classes pathed through props. As you may see, I did not add the prop for an icon, instead passing icons directly as a child. I personally like this way of handling icons, but if you want, you can of course extend common props to add icon prop. This reusable button component could help you write less repetitive code, maintain consistent UI throughout your app. Feel free to extend its functionality to suit your needs. You can find the live demo and the complete code on my GitHub. I've also written a blog post explaining its functionality on my website. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more React and TypeScript tutorials. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you and see you in the next video.